bunch of Cub Scouts here. And I was trying to get their attention and I couldn't get their attention, so I just came over and rang the bell. Bart Wales runs the Refurio County Museum. This bell he just rung was made back in 1737 and hung in the old Catholic mission built in 1793. Plenty of arrowheads as well inside this museum, one which also showcases a 1930s replica of the mission and its Indian burial ground. It was located along present day Highway 77. Road crews widening the highway back in 1999 discovered some 60 skeletal human remains from that cemetery. Another interesting fact about Refurio involves the Alamo and county resident Clara Driscoll. She's the one that saved the Alamo. They were going to tear it down to build a high rise office building or something and she's the one that bought the property and actually saved the Alamo. But here's something you won't find on a tourist map. This field sits on the southeast side of town. Wales took us here to explain an extraordinary fact about what happened here in 1929 after a gas well blew out. And they say that when you were in San Antonio in the Alamo Trust Building on one of the upper floors, if it was a clear night, you could look towards Refurio, towards the Gulf Coast, and see the fire. The explosion and fire caused a huge crater to form. The sinkhole swallowed up everything on the block and did so for decades. There are cars down there. There are concrete culverts. There are buildings that were demolished in town that were dumped here. There's concrete blocks down in here. There is everything you can imagine dumped in here trying to get it to fill up. And then walk down. Barbara Gonzalez showing off the stagecoach steps still in place in front of the 8,000 square foot Bally Garrett mansion that she and her husband own in Refurio. This national historic home is not open for tours, but it is for sale. I love it. It's going to break my heart to leave it. Absolutely break my heart. I mean, we put our heart and soul in this. Bally Garrett was built by Mary Frances Power. She was the granddaughter of James Power, who received a Mexican land grant back in the 1830s to establish a colony here. This mansion has been a labor of love for the Gonzalez couple, but they say they're getting too old to keep up with maintaining this huge historic home, one that seems to produce a number of oddities. None of my uh, wind-up clocks will work in this house. That clock will work anywhere else, and my grandfather clock will work anywhere else, but not in this house. Hold on, a fuse or something blew here. Uh-oh. We noticed some strange things as well. Our video camera blew a fuse for the very first time ever while taping inside the home. Now, when I took pictures inside the mansion with my iPhone, they all came out in black and white. Once outside, the pics were in color. A spooky snapshot of Refurio. A place where there is still a treasure trove of South Texas history to explore. Michael Gibson, 3 News.